Now, thank you for keeping it, KBC Channel One. You might have been invited to various groups this uh, in regards to contributions following maybe a passing on of a friend or contribution towards uh, a health support of a family member or a relative. And this has come to arise, especially after the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic here in the home country. Now, did you know that uh, such expenses in other countries are being covered by a life assurance policy? Now, bringing on board uh, on set is Jack Kionga, Acting Managing Director, CIC Life Insurance, to shed more light on uh, this uh, life assurance policy. And maybe to kick us off, what is the importance of uh, this life assurance policy? And maybe to begin us off, let us understand from the expert's view, what is this policy? Welcome on set. Thank you, Erin. Uh, thank you for inviting me here. It's a pleasure. Um, let me first of all define what life insurance is. Basically, life insurance covers financial risks that are based on a person's life. For example, if you have financial obligations and you're not there, those financial obligations still have to be met. And I'll give an, a good example. If you buy a house today for worth 40 million, and you take out an insurance cover, what it means is that whatever balance you might have on that house is taken over by the insurance company. Another example which is uh, really popular is you have children, they need to go to school whether you're there or not. So you take out a policy so that their education and their future is secured whether you're there or not. So life insurance basically just says that if I have financial obligations, those obligations can actually be taken over by an insurance policy, simply put. We have had uh, concerns, especially amid uh, the COVID-19 pandemic, ever since the country reported the first case in March. And uh, we have seen case after case. How has this uh, been impacted in the life assurance policy here in the home country? It, let me tell you, Irene, the impact is tremendous because CAC alone, as, as we sit here today, we have paid claims worth over 300 million just from COVID alone. But what I'd like to look at it also is the impact of the fact that these are people who had borrowed, they had assets, they had obligations, and those obligations and the assets are not going to be touched because they took out uh, a life insurance policy. So there's a negative impact in the sense that lives have been lost and also because there's been a financial cost. But I'd like to look at it that we have had an opportunity of showing who we are by saying even if it has happened, such a time as this is what insurance is all about. And uh, also during this time, uh, we have seen uh, the issue of uh, Kenyans being urged to use technology to avoid face-to-face -face contact. Has this also been applied when it comes to life assurance policy? Yes. As a matter of fact, the companies that are doing well are the ones who had adopted technology even earlier because in today's day and age, technology is the most effective way of reaching out to people. Then when you also think about the demographics, we find that people are more comfortable probably interacting with their phone than with a person. So much as we would have been at a better place if uh, we, had, we had not waited more for COVID to come for us to accelerate the growth, we have found ourselves in a situation where we're actually able to interact with our clients. We're, able, we're actually able to sell a policy or provide a solution and have them use the technology to buy and to pay and to receive whatever documentation they need to receive and even the communication process around it like SMS or just uh, applications that they can get information from. What has uh, the response from Kenyans been eh, in regards to the adoption of technology, especially when it comes to this uh, life uh, assurance policy? And also considering that the insurance regulatory authority had reduced uh, the number of uh, days uh, of claiming these uh, funds to 30 what is the response from uh, your company from where you sit? Yeah, thank you very much. There, there are two elements. Uh, let me start with the, the second question about the 30 days. That is a very, very positive move from the regulator because what he's trying to do is to tell the insurance companies, you do not have a discretion to keep money that you should have paid for 90 days because the law before, uh, the, the current law is uh, 90 days. But it also helps the industry in the sense that we shall be paying claims sooner and dealing with that risk that people talk about, that insurance companies do not pay claims. But for us as CIC, we have a policy, a documented policy that 
Any fully documented claim should be paid within five days. Uh -huh. it, we, should not, we, we do not have to wait for the regulator, but I think for the industry to take away the temptation of holding people's money, the 30 days rule is, is, is a very good rule. Now, the, the other question yes, had to do more with insurance uptake uh, during this particular uh, pandemic, um, and also the element of technology in it. There is an increased uptake when it comes to products that cover the death of a person, because of, uh, let's call them funeral, funeral uh, covers, because the, the, the cost of um, burying people has gone up. Not because the, the cost, it has gone up because of the numbers that have gone up for any one particular family. Whereas before you could be having a death once a year, you're now having some families even having five, six deaths in a particular year. So there's a quick update on that. Then the element of embracing technology. The millennia actually prefer dealing more with technology than one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. So that has an implication of developing products that are easy to, uh, to consume, Thinking about the customer journey, you know, where you're able to onboard our policy uh, quite easily, where the benefits are transparent, and we have seen actually an increased uptake, especially to products that are related to savings, and where the savings uh, are actually transparent to the person who is buying, in the sense that they know how much they have in their account. From where I sit uh, and from the research that we have been able to conduct, not uh, so many Kenyans have uh, taken part uh, in this kind of policy. What extra miles have you gone as a company to ensure that uh, we are vibrant as a country in this policy because uh, it has its own benefits as much as also challenges stand in place? This is what we've done. Let me tell you, the reason why we have that challenge is that uh, insurance has always been where you develop a product as a company and you push it down to the market. It has always been basically more driven by the financial advisors who are probably more, many of them are more concerned about the commission that they earn than the benefits of the product. But what we've done is that we've turned things the other way around. Why we're saying we want the customer to tell us what they want, how they want it delivered, and and also what kind of communication and interaction they want to have with us. So that means, for, number one, research and development, where we actually go to the people and ask them how do they want to consume. Number two, uh, the element of develop, developing products that they are able and they want to consume. Number three, developing distribution uh, uh, models that seem to be owned by the owners or the, the people who are buying the policy. So as opposed to the traditional model of the agency, you look at uh, people who have been aggregated in a group and you sell the concept. So they're the ones who sell among themselves. Number four, of course, is the element of making the technology easy. And at the same time, no, number five is constant communication so as to dissuade their minds that insurance is a con game. Uh, uh, the other thing also with technology is for them being able to access their accounts and uh, make requests through those accounts, it creates a level of trust that is now company-based as opposed to being based on the person who used to sell the insurance. From, from where you sit, uh, of course you have been able to conduct surveys uh, from county to county. What uh, do Kenyans say you need to do for them to increase their numbers uh, to this policy? Where do you go wrong? Yeah. That, that question is a, a very, very important. We go wrong because they don't trust us. And one of the things that, the reason why they don't trust us is because you have the insurance company and then you have the intermediary. So they want to feel the insurance company more. They want to know that when uh, somebody mentions CIC, they have a connection with CIC itself. Number two, they tell us the issue of the claims because, like you've not pointed out, there is this uh, legislation that will come uh, of 30 days, and th they'll ask that question: Why do you have to be legislated to do what you are supposed to do? So, once you create that connection with them, that they are dealing with you, that their claims are going to be paid within reasonable time. Uh, then uh, they connect well with you. But again, technology plays a very big role because it creates a transparency. That is what we've done at CAC, to create a transparency so people do not have to ask questions. People can just look and see uh, the status of their policies uh, and then know they are comfortable, and not just individuals. So, so um, in the counties, and, and remember what, what is also happening, the counties are becoming more and more uh, with the revolution more exposed than they were before. So we have branches that are over there that, uh, that they can go to 
if they, if they do not have the technology to access the information. And we've also created partnerships, especially with our, our cooperative partners, so that we can use them to also reach out to our people within the counties. From the projections that uh, you've been able to, to do as uh, a company, as you have just mentioned, you've been able to move from county to county, but then we have that projection in a short term. Will have Kenyans have adapted this uh, policy or we still have a long way to go? Yes, we do. So what are these measures that we're trying to put in place to ensure that at least we are, it's, it's a plus to the country because if at all, uh, it's catered for by other people instead of individuals, don't you see it's of great benefit? So where do we start from? It is, it is we start by interacting with these people directly. For example, um, Insurance in itself, we know it is a good thing, and people are seeing that now. So the problem is not what we are we are advocating. The problem is that how we're connecting with the people there. And so what we're saying is that let us go to groups that are aggregated, even in the counties. So for example, if I'm going to sell something insurance to a border border, I should not sit in my office, come up with a product, and then you know sell the product. But I go to the person, and if that person buys, then you have a whole group that buys an aggregated group, and then the numbers come in and there's similar groups that you can deal with like that. That is our strategy. We do believe uh, that uh, with time, uh, what you've said, you'll be able to put it uh, in uh, practical. What would be your closing remarks as we come to an end of this? I think what I'll say is that this is a good time for the industry to actually take advantage of what is going on because whether you believe in insurance or not, the impact of it is, is, is being felt. Uh, and it's also a good time to uh, also make the nation understand that it is you're much better off you know having insurance policy than not having one but i think to the industry it is a, a very good opportunity for us to educate people more and to engage more with the people down in the grassroots as opposed to being seen uh, to be also. detached from the uh, from them Thank you. Well, thank you so much. That has been uh, Jack Kionga, the Acting Managing Director, CIC Life uh, Assurance Policy, giving us more insights on why we need to be part and parcel of uh, life insurance policy, considering that in other countries this is catered for by the insurance, especially when it comes to contribution to funerals and also health support. And this has been on the rise, especially amid the COVID-19. And after the first case was reported here in the home country, on uh, COVID-19. Thank you, sir. Welcome once again.